La pression populaire semble assez importante outre-manche pour que le Premier ministre soit obligé de se mettre en scène pour justifier sa position sur la vaccination. Le lundi 12 février 2024, il a donc participé à l'émission Forum du Peuple de GB News. Cette séquence a été marquée par l'intervention de John Watt, citoyen victime du vaccin. Cet Écossais de 38 ans a reçu trois injections en 2021 et il affirme que son univers s'est écroulé lorsque sa santé s'est détériorée après la troisième dose en novembre. Sunak lui a répondu avec la morgue et la condescendance habituelle en déroulant un discours froid et préétabli, dégageant son gouvernement de toute responsabilité en se félicitant de la mise en place d'un fonds de compensation. Quelque temps auparavant, le même Sunak affirmait sans ambiguïté devant le Parlement que les vaccins Covid étaient sûrs. J'ai choisi de sous-titrer ce montage pour vous laisser apprécier le ton de cette joute télévisuelle. Vous trouverez en description sous la vidéo des liens en rapport avec les effets secondaires aimablement réunis par Marie-Claude, que je remercie chaleureusement. Hi, Rishi Sunak. I've got so much to say, but such little time. My name is John Watt, and I'm one of the COVID vaccine injured in this country. COVID vaccines are safe, Mr. Speaker. I want you to look into my eyes, Rishi Sunak, and I want you to look at the pain, the trauma, and the regret I have in my eyes. COVID vaccines are safe, Mr. Speaker. We have been left with no help at all. COVID vaccines are safe, Mr. Speaker. Not only am I in here that's vaccine injured, there's another man over there whose life's been ruined by that COVID-19 vaccine. COVID vaccines are safe, Mr. Speaker. I know people who have lost legs, amputations, COVID vaccines are safe, Mr. Speaker. I know people with heart conditions like myself, Rishi Sunak. COVID vaccines are safe, Mr. Speaker. Why have I had to set up a support group in Scotland to look after the people that have been affected by that COVID-19 vaccine? Let me be unequivocal from this dispatch box that COVID vaccines are safe, Mr. Speaker. Why are the people who are in charge who told us all to do the right thing have left us all to rot. If me and the thousands and the tens of thousands in this country to rot, Rishi Sunak looked me in the eye. When are you going to start to do the right thing? The vaccine damage payment scheme is not fit for purpose. In Scotland right now, according to the yellow card system, there are over 30,000 people that have had an adverse reaction to that vaccine and okay. 200 deaths. J John, thank you very much indeed for your question. It's for you to start doing the right thing, you've, Mr. Rishi Sunak, and the rest. You've, you've, you've made a really strong point, John. Prime Minister. Yeah, John, well, I'm very sorry to hear about your personal circumstances, and you said someone over here also seems to have suffered by the similar, by a similar thing. Now, obviously, I, I don't know about the individual situation that you're in. We're silenced, and, Rishi. We're silenced. Well, on I don't. Social media and everything. Okay. We are silenced. We are the most silenced people in this country. We're silenced right. in the press because my story in the press. Okay. I had to go right. to the government for comment, but, and they made them forgive, take all right. the stuff out. Forgi forgive me. Said. Forgive me both. I know. I'm happy. We, 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 no, no, no one. No one no okay. John, no one. No one is saying. No one. Oh yeah. Okay. I've lost my house, my wife, a successful career. And sir, you raised some very valid points. I'm sure. What I've got to say is, though, we haven't got you on microphone, and as you know, we've got to get through this. I'm sure we can, we can raise your points with the Prime Minister at a later yeah. date. But in the meantime, Prime Minister, if you yeah, no, cover I'm, the issue. I'm, I'm very happy to. So look, there is a vaccine compensation scheme that's in place, as you alluded to in the NHS. Obviously, everyone individually will work through their cases. It's difficult for me to comment on anyone's individual case. I'm sure you'll appreciate that. I'm very happy to go and look at the cases, and I'm sure you'll get them to the team here. I mean, I, I'm very saddened and shocked to hear that you've been silenced by anybody. That is surprising to me. So please do get your details to Stephen and the team, and I will happily take that away. Of course, you should be able to speak about your experience, what's happened to you. And as I said, we have a compensation scheme in place for that and I'll make sure that we're working through that. Obviously I think you'll appreciate it's hard for me to comment on your specific circumstances just not knowing them and those things that... Yeah. Our viewers and listeners won't be able to... I think look, the, la the last thing I'd say is uh, you know we went through a pandemic like everyone else 
at the points when it came to the vaccine, those decisions were always taken on the basis of medical advice from our medical experts to tell us as politicians, who are obviously not doctors, about how best to roll out the vaccine, what was in the public health interest, the priority order, how that should be done, who should be eligible. That was something that the doctors recommended on, and that's something that we followed. Now, obviously, if there are individual circumstances which haven't worked out, then that's why we have the compensation scheme in place, and I'll make sure that we follow up on your cases. OK, Prime Minister, thank you. And gents, both of you, do give us your details. We will get that to the Prime Minister, and as he said, he will, I'm sure, look at that for you.